I'm serious, man. I have yet to see one of us on the news reading a hostage report. Mm, uh, mm. They is treating us good. We all chilling and shit. I'd like to give a shout out to Ray Ray and Big Steve and them. Hey guys, welcome back to episode six of my protein series, the final one. And this is, how much protein do I need? So the question you've all been asking since we first started this series, Lane, just tell me how much protein you need. Well, today we're gonna get to that. So the first thing to consider is, people ask me all the time, how much protein do I need to build muscle? Well, you're really asking the wrong question. You don't need that much protein to build muscle. You really don't. Uh, when it comes down to it, even if you're like maxing out, like putting on like 40 pounds of lean body mass in a year, you're only looking at like 10 grams of amino acids being deposited in muscle per day is what you actually like need to grow. But it's a little bit tricky because, so theoretically, if, if the minimum to maintain nitrogen balance is 50 grams per day, approximately, just add 10 grams on top of that, 60 grams, done. But that's not how it works. In order to get those 10 grams of amino acids deposited in muscle tissue, you need a disproportionate level of protein intake to stimulate muscle protein synthesis as we talked about in uh, the, the, the first and second videos. So, but what is kind of a, a bare minimum for people who don't wanna eat much protein but still build a good amount of muscle mass and stimulate muscle protein synthesis. And, and the research uh, looks at like it's about 1.8 grams per kilogram of lean body mass, okay? What's your lean body mass? So your lean body mass is your body weight minus your fat mass, okay? So if someone is 200 pounds and they have 10% body fat, uh, then they would have 20 pounds of fat mass and their lean body mass would be 180 pounds, all right? So, um, if, if somebody had, for example, 100 pounds, or I'm sorry, let's, let's go to kilos since we're talking in kilograms. So if somebody had, um, say, 70 kilos of lean body mass, you multiply one by 1.8, so the protein would be uh, around uh, 126 grams per day, okay? Now again, that's a, a, a minimum, all right? Uh, but that's going to get you a, a good amount of response. Now, if you're looking for something more optimal, um, 2.4 grams per kilogram of lean body mass uh, seems to be a little bit more optimal for building muscle mass. Now, again, this is per kilogram lean body mass. Now, people say, do I use body weight? Do I use lean body mass? I prefer lean body mass because lean body mass is your uh, physiologically active tissue that is going to demand the vast majority of your protein. Okay, fat mass, while it does have some protein to it, doesn't have a whole lot of protein turnover that goes on. Now, for somebody like me, I'm about 85 kilograms of lean body mass. Um, 2.4 grams per kilo works out to about uh, 204 grams of protein per day. Okay, but now I, I consume more than that, but I'll talk about why that is. Um, if we look at, okay, well that's the, some people say, well I just love eating protein. I, I wanna eat more protein. What's the safe upper limit? Well, to be honest, there's no real upper limit known. Um, nobody's ever really had protein toxicity who's a healthy person. Um, but intakes that have been studied seem to be up to about 3.5 uh, grams per kilogram lean body mass with really no issues. Um, so if you like more protein, you can have more protein and it doesn't seem to really have um, you know, many uh, negative health consequences. So if somebody just for, for sake of argument was, was you know, 80 kilograms of, of lean body mass, um, they'd be looking at around uh, 280 grams of protein a day as a possible kind of high upper limit. Now I wanna be clear, you don't seem to get more of a benefit from going to here to here, okay? Um, in fact, the absolute maximum upper limit for protein to be anabolic for the average person seems to be about 2.8 grams per kilogram lean body mass. That's the 
And that's a very small benefit over this. A possible benefit. That's not, I don't even come across like that's proven. It's been proposed. Okay. Now I'm somebody who's like, well, you know, protein is not going to harm me. So why not have a little bit more and make sure I'm getting all the benefits of it. That's just kind of how I feel about it. Um, now some other considerations. Age. As you age, your protein requirements go up because you become less sensitive to the, the anabolic effects of protein. Okay, so we talked about mTOR and protein synthesis. Uh, I did a regression on this, and it looks like your, the amount of protein you need to increase muscle protein synthesis uh, goes up by about 1.5% per year after age 30. Okay, so we take somebody like myself um, and put me at 2.4 grams per kilogram of lean body mass, that's 204 uh, grams of protein, and we, uh, I'm, I'm 36 years old, add 1.5% per year, so that's 6 years times 1.5, that's an extra 9% of protein, um, so you take 204 uh, and add 9%, you get to about 225 grams of protein per day, okay? So that's, that is what actually my intake is, uh, is 225 grams at the moment. So that's kind of how I come up with that calculation. So again, if you're under the age of 30, don't need to worry about this. If you're the, over the age of 30, no problem at 1.5% per year. My uh, contest prep ebook actually has a really great table that lays all this out for you uh, and also includes calories, our next point. So calories are also uh, impactful on your protein. Um, calories are protein sparing, so they spare protein from oxidation, all right, because they are preferentially oxidized over protein. But under calorie reduced circumstances, uh, protein can be, uh, the rate of protein oxidation can increase through what's called gluconeogenesis, and that is the formation of glucose, mostly from uh, protein. So um, there's not really a good number on this, but what I tell people is if you're in a caloric deficit, increase your protein by about 10 to 20%. Now again, if you're already here, you don't need to increase it. You're already way above, okay? So I'm only increasing it if um, you're already, if you're, if you're still below, so if your normal protein intake is below that 2.8 grams per kilogram lean body mass. If, you're, if you get above that, I don't really worry about increasing it more, okay? Unless you're very old. I could maybe see a benefit for up to 3.5 grams per kilogram lean body mass in elderly who are calorically restricted. Um, and then activity. Uh, you go through about five to 10 grams of amino acids per hour uh, of intense exercise, okay? This isn't really important for most of you out there who just lift weights, no, no offense. Uh, you're not gonna be burning through a ton of amino acids. You don't need to add extra. And it's gonna be accommodated for by if you're hitting enough of these. However, um, if you're somebody who runs marathons, does Ironmans, ultra marathons, those sorts of things, and you wanna maintain as much of your lean body mass as possible, this is something you should account for. So if you're doing eight hours of intense activity, but you're only eating uh, 1.8 or two grams per kilogram lean body mass, um, you probably ought to look at you know, increasing by at least five grams of protein per hour of your activity, right? Now let's, let's take, again, me for instance, and let's take a, a bare minimum, right? So let's go, just for sake of ease, two grams per kilogram lean, lean body mass. Uh, that's 170 grams of protein a day for me, okay? But if you multiply that by about 9%, I don't have my calculator on me, let's just do 10% for ease of use. That's an extra 17 grams of protein. That's 187, about 185 grams of protein that I'm gonna wanna be at regardless in order to build uh, muscle, to really maximize my muscle uh, mass. Then if I was calorically restricted, I could up that by 10, 20%. Now, where is the upper limit? So that's kind of the lower limit of where I put myself on, about 185 grams uh, per day if I was in a caloric surplus. 
and over 200 grams, 200, 220 grams if I was in a deficit, all right? Now, where's the upper, where's the upper on this? Well, um, if you look at three grams per kilo um, of lean body mass, that puts me about 255 grams per day, right? And that's already the upper limit, so I wouldn't, I'm not gonna really add more for, for some of these metrics. The only thing I might add more for is if I was um, much older um, or did a lot of activity. But let's take, uh, let's take somebody who's a, who's a marathoner who does uh, eight hours of activity or six hours of activity a day uh, or, or Ironman runner or something like that uh, who does eight hours of, uh, six hours of activity a day and is age 40, okay? So, and let's say there's they're, they're 60 kilos of lean body mass, but want to maintain their lean body mass as much as possible. Well, you get somewhere around 120 grams, 115 grams of protein right off the bat. They're not calorically restricted, um, or they, they shouldn't be if they're doing that kind of stuff. We're going to add 15% uh, for their age, okay? So 120 times 15 you're, you're looking at 32, uh, about 140 grams of protein then. And then if they're doing eight hours of activity, let's, let's, let's just do five grams per hour, or six hours, sorry. Six hours of activity, five grams per hour, that's an extra 30 grams of protein. So about 170 grams of protein for that individual, okay? Now again, th this isn't, I don't want to make this sound like it's set in stone or anything like that. Um, I go way more into this in my, uh, my contest prep book. So uh, if you guys want a more detailed explanation that's laid out in a nice simple table that you can really understand and, and reference very quickly to get your uh, protein targets, uh, you can go to my, my book and I'll, I'll put the link below as well as a clickable link. So that's kind of uh, the, the long and short story of protein. I hope this series has been really useful for you guys. Uh, guys, if you, if you like this stuff, uh, please like it share it, uh, leave a comment. Uh, tell me how much protein you take in per day. Let's have a poll. How, how much protein are you guys taking in per day and what's your reasoning for that much protein? All right, guys, I hope you've enjoyed the series and I'll catch you next time.